On DVD and Blu-ray, uh, Passengers. Uh, we did a spoiler up on this. Just listen to that. I wouldn't bother watching this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch um, this. It's a fan spoiler It's up. really, I'll tell you, unless you want to be a production designer, that's the one reason I would say watch this movie. It has amazing production design. Yeah, that's, that's a great. it nominated for it. Yeah, if you mm-hmm. want to do production design, if mm-hmm. you want to see how to create yes. a really cool world that's unique and different and showed some stuff we haven't. If See, you want to create this beautiful world that everyone else shits on with their bullshit, yeah. that's what happened with Passengers. I want to create a beautiful world with a dumb plot. Yeah, uh, surrounding this all this is, great things you've created. Two <laughs> gorgeous movie stars. <laughs> this is the movie you should watch. Uh, um, the next movie is Fences. Um, um, yeah, you know, I, I, as we said on the show, there's great performances in Fences. It just... As we talked about, it was like they put a camera inside a, a theater. It's mm-hmm. just literally word for word, scene for scene, which I think bogs down the medium of film too much into too much dialogue. But I will say this: watch it because Viola Davis is great, Denzel Washington is great, uh, the young guy that plays his kid is great. There's there's some great acting moments, but just know you're kind of watching a play, right? And you know that's, but it's worth seeing. Now Ellie is, um, I believe, the actress that she was nominated for the Academy. She was Award. nominated for mm-hmm. best uh, best supporting actress, I mm-hmm. believe, and best best leading actress. French drama. Uh, uh, Aaron is nodding, giving me the correct information. Yes. It's so great having Aaron in the I room. I know. Directed by Paul Verhoeven. Paul Verhoeven. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Right. So no weird sex well, violence. I mean, or... it starts with a rape. Oh, I believe. God. Thanks. So, Thanks, Aaron. Sorry. So the answer would be no. <laughs> um, okay. Um, but yeah, that's that was one of those movies, and we talked about it on the Oscar episode. Of didn't hear it, didn't get it. Probably didn't have the the budget of some of these other movies to really push it uh, down. That was a French film, right? The Oscar Pike. Yeah, yeah. There's a review by CJ on the uh, yes. The there's a review well. on the site. You want to check it out. Also, um, you could check out CJ's review of Raw. We had talked about this movie on the uh, the other uh, podcast. Uh, this is the horror movie about like the vegetarians or the, or the veterinarians who have to get hazed and have to eat you know raw meat and then it uh, let's just say it turns them and they said it's a really one of those really disturbing low budget horror movies but it's good but not for the faint of heart that's so, so I will not most likely Graham movie. will not be watching the film uh, but I'm sure uh, Neil will be seeing it or if he hasn't already <laughs> So and then premiering this. Should week. we get Neil help? I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a psychological issue at play here. Then no one would review these movies. Well, that's true. All right, keep going, uh, buddy. We love what you're doing. Yeah. So we have uh, Beauty and the Beast uh, premiering this week. Now this is I, I'll tell you. Are you, you going to take your kids to this? They're very excited to see okay. it. I, I I'll tell you, I have the same trepidation I did about Jungle Book, although I was wrong about Jungle Book. It really just looks like a live action version of the animated movie. Like, well, I don't need that. It looks like literally. Song by song, scene by scene, shot by shot, even like, uh, it's like with Ghost in the Shell. You're just trying to make real life versions of these anime characters. And uh, I think uh, I'm going to predict, though, that uh, the Jungle Book was a exception to the rule. I think that was one place where it went right. I don't know if all of them are going to hit that um, same target. So we'll see. Uh, but my, again, kids are very excited. It's going to make a fortune. This weekend, it will be. It doesn't matter what. Even if the Avengers came out, most likely uh, Beauty and the Beast is still. It's 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 just a juggernaut. Um, and the next movie is the Belco Experiment. What is that? This is where James Gunn went into his trunk of uh, screenplays that hadn't been made yet. <laughs> After Guardians of the Galaxy, most likely he um, had a, co- a few Aaron lying has around. To say about this. Yes, it's like Office Space meets Battle Royale. Yeah, they people get trapped in an office and have to kill each other. Oh, like I saw the trailer yeah. for this. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually I want to see this. So yeah. it, it feels a little bit like Office Space meets The Raid, a little bit. But James Gunn did not direct it, so it was just. But it, it is his uh, screenplay. T uh, two Train Spotting. This is an odd. An odd sequel. How many years has that been since 20 the years, movie? 20 years. 20 years after, Danny Boyle is directing it. The entire cast is back. So uh, it sounds like it's a uh, a, um, a drugged-out version of Before Sunrise, Before Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a violent, drugged-out Scottish Before Sunrise, Before Sunset. That's all I need. That's I'm, I'm into that. It feels that way. I, the I, working title was I Slept Through the Sunrise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I saw the trailer. I love the original Train Spotting. I like the original Danny one too. Boyle, Come you on. can't miss with Danny yeah. Boyle. Yeah. I'm so. excited for it. I'm excited for it. So I think I'm going to see that. I'll probably see this while you're at Beauty and the Beast. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, then that's that's our show. That's our show, ladies mm-hmm. and gentlemen. 